Welcome to the October 2023 construction update of the Gordie Howe International Bridge Project. There has been significant progress since our September update. My name is Bob Jones and I will be your host on this video. Like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. Your support is important and I really appreciate your help. In this update we will cover the latest news and developments on the project including construction updates, cultural history, and economic impact. The Gordie Howe International Bridge Project was named as a tribute to the legendary Canadian ice hockey player Gordie Howe. From 1946 to 1980, Gordie Howe played 26 seasons in the National Hockey League and 6 seasons in the World Hockey Association. His first 25 seasons were spent with the Detroit Red Wings and led the team to four Stanley Cup victories. Gordie Howe's name highlights the strong relationship between the two countries and their shared history in friendship, sports and commerce. In December 2020, the first of three phases of the construction to create the distinctive towers for the Gordie Howe Bridge was completed with the underground foundational work of the tower legs. With solid constructional base, crews began building the tower legs above ground to their final height of 220 meters, 722 feet, as we can see, has reached completion in 2023. The bridge is a cable stayed design with six lanes, bicycle and pedestrian path, and a total length of approximately 2.5 kilometers, or one and a half miles. The clear span of 853 meters or 1,234 feet, a little over a half a mile, will be the longest main span of any cable stayed bridge in North America. The bridge will have no piers in the water and there will be one approach bridge on either side of the crossing to connect the ports of entry in Canada and the US. Once completed, the Gordie Howe International Bridge will be among the top five longest bridges in North America. In March 2021, construction work began on the maintenance building, the first of 11. Currently, all of the port structures are well underway. The approach connecting the project to the Herb Gray Parkway, a below-grade city bypass to the 401 Highway in Canada, is ready for paving. All in all, things are progressing quickly on the project. The location of the Gordie Howe International Bridge Project is deeply rooted in cultural history. The Underground Railroad, which saw many enslaved people escape to freedom in Canada, passed through the area where the bridge is being constructed. The Gordie Howe Bridge project is being constructed on Anishinaabe territory and the Anishinaabeg in the Windsor area are known as the Three Fires Confederacy, which consists of the Ojibwe, Odawa and the Potawatomi nations. 
This land has also served as a place of refuge for the Huron-Wendat people. The Gordie Howe International Bridge Project is poised to spur economic development in both the United States and Canada. The new bridge is expected to give residents and truckers some relief from the congestion currently surrounding the Ambassador uh, Bridge border crossing between Windsor, Ontario and Detroit. The bridge will provide a direct freeway to freeway connection. A big plus as the Ambassador Bridge crossing is connected to Windsor's Huron Church Road inside city limits. The Ambassador Bridge is the busiest truck crossing between the United States and Canada, serving around 8,000 trucks and 68,000 travelers a day. The new bridge is expected to save about 850,000 hours per year for trucks, translating into billions of dollar savings over the bridge's lifetime. Once finished, this will be one of the largest ports of entry in North America. Road improvements on the U.S. side include four new road bridges currently completed, five new pedestrian bridges, widened roads at key intersections to allow transport trucks to make full uninterrupted un turns, and primary connecting ramps to and from the U.S. point of entry. Local improvements on the Canadian side are currently working on phase one of three to replace the sandwich street and beautify the neighborhood. In conclusion, the Gordie Howe International Bridge Project is progressing well, with construction on track to be completed in 2024. The project is a once-in-a-generation undertaking that will deliver much-needed transportation improvements for international travelers. The location of the project is deeply rooted in rich cultural history, and the project is poised to spur economic development in both countries. Thank you for joining me on this October update on the Gordie Howe International Bridge Project. Please remember to like and subscribe. My name is Bob Jones and I'll see you in the next video.